we're going to Florida tomorrow. What are the things you're looking forward to the most that we're going to do down there? Swimming in the ocean, going to Disney World, and then the... You excited for the plane ride? Are you nervous at all? Are you excited? Excited. What are some of the things that are going to be the first for you, the first time you get to experience? Being at the ocean, being on a plane, being at the airport, being at Disney World, being at Florida, mostly everything. <laughs> Did the, did the eggs hatch or oh, did they must have, huh? The nest, oh, there's up there. The, the mother was sitting on it last night. Look up in there. Is there things in there? Close your eyes, get out of your skin. So we spent the first two days at Disneyland and uh, the rest of the week we're actually staying at sort of like a Airbnb type thing. You can basically get pre pretty much a house for cheaper than you can rent a hotel. Disneyland was gorgeous, it was beautiful. I was so impressed with the upkeep of the landscaping stuff, especially our background of trying to always manage weeds in the garden. So I was really impressed with, with Disney. However, everything at Disney is three, five times the price you want to go get you know something to drink you're talking three four dollars for just a bottle of water so um, if you're someone that's looking to have a similar trip or experience i would definitely recommend getting a car so you can either go off of disney's property to be able to purchase some stuff or look at something kind of like what we're spending the rest of the weekend fantastic place it's got all the facilities you got a kitchen stove even a washing machine and uh it's at a fraction of a cost however um staying on disney's site there's a lot of nice little benefits the the stuff that they do is just so top notch i mean real live flowers all the time
So we have a checklist of some things that we want to get done. Maybe they're not quite the official Florida experience, but there's some things that we'd like to have Grace experience here on this trip. We want to be able to see an alligator or a crocodile. Hopefully we can see some dolphins, spend a little time at the ocean, of course, uh, with the experience of going to Disneyland, some of that fun stuff. So we have a checklist of things that we're hoping to get crossed off the list this week. <music> So we had a really an interesting day at a citrus farm. Blueberries were something that we just had missed, but they had a pick your own type thing. And then also they do a lot of oranges. And they fed a lot of the, the peels. They made, you, for example, you show up the place, you could go to the shop, buy juices and, and uh, different things like that. And a lot of the peels and stuff went to uh, some of the animals that they had. They had some pretty exotic animals as well on there. Um, I think most of their business comes from the oranges and the blueberries they do on there and then I think a large, at least the impression I got was a large percentage of their business actually comes from just the tourist side. They got that shop there and then they do these big monster truck uh, rally things. But it was really interesting to be able to kind of hear their perspective as well as being someone that comes from the north, we don't have any interaction at all with oranges and there was definitely some things we had learned. We always thought oranges were supposed to be orange. Well, in reality, orange and green is um, sometimes a, a pretty common thing in oranges. It's actually the pretty rare for the orange to actually be all orange unless they're coming from, I believe, South America. The other thing too is, is um, I always got the impression that oranges ripened after you pick them, but that's actually not the case. They start rotting away, but they had a great little facility. It was really fun to kind of see their farming perspectives and um, and ideas on things. So I was hoping we could get the crocodile alligator thing crossed off the list. We did see one out there. It was pretty small, a real young one, and I don't think Grace actually saw it, so we couldn't cross that off the list. It was funny, we were actually just, uh, I think my wife was on the internet as well, and they just recently had one at the actual Orlando airport going across the runway, but uh, we weren't there. So hopefully we can catch up with another one somewhere here in the next uh, couple of days. Off to Clearwater Beach.
So what we gotta do is we gotta pull this little thing that rotates the eggs. We gotta pull that out and we gotta put all the eggs back in there.